welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bone Skewer Elnux to start the day off with. Um, it's still meme tier day. Usually Mondays are meme tier days, but we're going to be having meme tier Tuesday today because we have four more um, pretty cool meme tier ideas. This one was a challenge. This was build a deck um, based around uh, having Bone Skewer and Elnux. And so this is why those matter. All right, so Bone Skewer says an ally strikes an enemy, then it moves to the top of your deck. And so that's going to be really effective, especially with like a bull Elnuk. Um, that if we, you know, we have the bull Elnuk strike an enemy, that's four damage. That's a nice removal spell. Then we put the bull Elnuk back on top of our deck. And the reason why is because then we played Troop of Elnuks. Because Troop of Elnuk says for the top six cards in your deck, you summon each Elnuk and then you shuffle the rest. So therefore we uh, put the Bull Elnuk back on top, play the troop, and now the Bull Elnuk comes back into play. Of course, we could also put another troop back on top, but yeah, you put your Elnuk back on top of your deck, play this, and then you get your Elnuk right back. <laughs> it's a long ways to go for a nice little combo. So basically the whole payoff is um, your Elnuk just stays in play and all you did was just play a two mana deal four removal spell. Um, you know that's the that's the entire payoff but it's uh it's meme tier day right so we're gonna try to live that dream <laughs> that is so cheesy um besides that we'll have like avaros and hearth cards another card that's really good to put back on top of your deck we're gonna have a good amount of card draw as well um we're gonna play pick a cards in here and twisted fate's gonna be our only champion um where Ch twisted fate's champion spells also pick a card the reason to play pick a card is because you place a card from your hand back into your deck and then you draw two fleeting so if you just have like like bull l is not a card you really want to have um and so if we have bull l in our hand we want it to be in our deck because we want to get it for free with the troop of l right so uh, we can use pick a card to put the bull l back into the deck and then try to get it for free with a troop of l um, but then, yeah, just a good amount of card draw to hopefully draw other stuff and then just reduce the size of our deck so that maybe we just have more Elnux in our deck compared to the, the size. <laughs> it looks tough to win. Yeah, yeah, it's Meme Tier Day. Meme Tier Day is not. <laughs> we don't always win all, all the, the most on Meme Tier Day. But um, one way that we are going to win is I have one copy of Buried in Ice at the top end. So the thinking here is that, you know, maybe we have like some different Elnux and Avros and Hearthguard and stuff like that. Um, and those things are, those things are fine, but they're just kind of like vanilla units, right? Like they don't have any keywords. So even if they're like bigger because of hearth guard, they're just going to kind of take up the board space. And like, how do we actually get through and deal all the damage? Well, we're going to try buried in ice to obliterate each enemy, um, and just tr turn them into frozen tombs. And now suddenly we like all of their units are gone. We still have all of our units and then we can, um, attack after this buried in ice and uh attack for lethal that's the hope so that's what we're going to try to do all right so let's go ahead and give it a try bone skewer elnox we're just playing in normal with it being a meme tier day so we're going to go play five games let's see how the deck does playing against deep what if we, we should maybe have like two buried of ice buried in ice in this deck i feel like that's going to be a really important card but we do have a good amount of card draw to help find it all right, so Bull Elnuk always gets mulliganed away. And I'm going to just kind of mulligan those also. Just keep one hired gun. Yeah, so our, our curve is pretty high as far as pick a card goes and getting the two fleeting cards. But thankfully, it's only it's only just two cards. Um, basically, half of the deck costs one or two mana. Um, 19 cards cost one or two mana. It's just the other half of the deck's expensive. So since, so you know, if you if we draw two expensive cards, um, you know, then we'll only be able to play one of them. And we'll have to burn one. But maybe we draw like one cheap card, one expensive card, and then we'd be fine. All right, 4-4 four, four Tavern Keeper. It's good size. So this is Maokai Nautilus with Gohard. I'm just gonna play this Bull Elnuk because like if they're trying to, if their plan is like Maokai. Hmm. 
It's gonna get two big four power attackers. Go hard, go deep. So they're just like trying to toss. And they got treasures. So they're trying to go deep, yet they're putting a whole bunch of cards into their deck. So they're at 36 cards still. It's going to make it more difficult to go deep. Oh, wow. Wow, it drew that treasure very first draw. How about that? Put two treasures into the deck, turn four, turn five, you get three five five fearsomes. Wow, how about that? That's some good fortune right there. That is some good fortune. The winter's claw strikes. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. So they get to block two of these, but that's still taking nine damage, assuming they block two four powers. So that's still a good amount of damage. And now those things are just five ones. Alright, I'm going to start with the picket card. Yeah, this is a good yeah, this is a good deck in normal that my opponent's playing. It's a good for normal deck. Wow, they found the second treasure. They found b both of those real fast, but like the other one was uh you know, they tossed. gone. We just have one salvage in here. Man, the, we I think, like, we may be uh, maybe losing to these treasures. That first treasure getting the three five fives is great, and then we'll let's see what they get for this one. Hopefully not much. Five random cards. Okay, good. So far, so good. Don't worry. I won't All right. say so far, so good. No, War Mother's Call? Wow. That'll help you go deep pretty quickly. But they did just play all these things first. So they just didn't have room anymore. And the other card was survival skills. Alright, so we of course don't we don't want to kill anything. Alright, this is gonna be a tough one to win. We don't really want to kill anything because then then that just sets up room for um, the War Mother's Call. They're three away from deep right now. 
fight or die. Even though I do have very good attacks. Yeah, See, like we just don't don't keep it. I was hoping, you know, hoping for like Maokai or Nautilus to get burned. things we kill like anything I block they get to toss that's what they wanted and yeah it would have helped their Maokai level up we kind of need to find our berry to nice maybe we should be playing two of that card Levels up Maokai. So we gotta find Barry and Ice. Uh, do we get to see what Maokai tossed? No, it tossed Barry and Ice. Card we needed. And they're kind of also about to mill out, but they, they should have Nautilus. So they got this one as long as they uh, don't mess up really bad. And that would be not messing up really bad. Alright, GG's. GG's treasures. Okay. Alright, so we did put in a second. So we took out. I'm saving the deck. Changing the deck list and saving that right now. Um, so we took out the... The one mana card. The three sisters. And we put in a second buried in ice. That'll be exciting. Um, they are going to be a slow control deck, so maybe I should keep Salvage. I need to keep in Salvage. Um, a give giveaway, Matthew? I... So if it is a longer game, the Hearth Guard's going to be good. This time we drew Troop of Elnux. This is the Elnux we want. We want Troop of Elnux, not the Bull Elnux. Last game we kept drawing Bull Elnux. We saw it. We drew like three Bulls and no Troops. We want Troops. So they just discarded two concurrent timelines? It's got to mean they have like the third concurrent timelines in their hand, right? Yeah, so they had all three in their hand. You'll go no farther. Okay. 
Okay. Never lost a fair game. We'll Alright, so we got rid of a mystic shot. Now let's go ahead and blue card. Blue as the serpentine. Okay, what do we got? Thermo for five. Let's let it happen. Could bone skewer put put it back on top, but I'm gonna really want these bone skewers for their champions and everything. It's just not really worth using it for a mage seeker conservator. All right, we got some big allies. Everything getting, um, you know, plus two, plus two now. We'll even have the top ones get an additional plus one, plus one with his Omen Hawk. I can kind of see using Bone Skewer right now to reset Avaros and Hearthguard and do it again. No, let's wait. Yeah, four mana five five that creates two mushroom clouds was pretty good. Four mana three two that creates two mushroom clouds, not as good. I only have two cards left. I don't know, I'm not killing a champion, but I, lo I just love resetting Hearth Garden. I'm just... I'm too enthralled by that. So all of our all of the units in our deck have plus two plus two. The top two after this hearth guard have plus three plus three because the omen hawk. Now make that they're all plus three plus three except for the top two are plus four plus four. I hope we hit some Elnux. All right, we'll take it. That's what the Mage Seer Conservator made. Obviously, they can't play Bilgewater cards in their deck. <laughs> plus four, plus four. Leave your tracks in the door. What's up, Saigoomba? It's Meme Tier Day. Man, they're just gonna let me attack, but all right. Let's see if we hit. All right, got an Elnuk. Got a plus three, plus three Elnuk. Let's go. Seven, eight Elnuk. <laughs> GG's. Fizz, Mono Bilgewater Fizz. All right, let's see what they got. They got Bone Skewer Fizz. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. This hand looks good. Sprayfin's even like a fizz blocker. Obviously, we got Raider on two, Croaker on three, Sprayfin block on four, plus now we have three spell mana. Then we got Hearthguard on five. Really liking the look of the first five rounds for this hand. Lender Poro. We're, we're playing against some more meme tier decks today. Maybe it's because it's probably because we put Elnux in our deck. <laughs> but we're not playing like the. Like, even in normal, like, you'll play against the tier 1 deck sometimes in normal. But it's not happening today. At least so far in these three games. Didn't attack, you know, like, they would block, we would trade, but I, I want to keep my 3-1 alive for Fortune Croakers. So I don't want to trade there. Unfortunately, we drew both of our Bull I don't. We don't want to draw Bull Elnuk. The strong don't want mercy. You pay, I talk to spirits. These are my role. We don't want to draw Bull Elnuk because we want them in our deck. What do they got? Regeneration and Tough. It's a pretty cool Poro. Alright, we'll do some trades. 
get to keep the 2-2. So now to three cards. Like we have some monster harpoons. And Sprayfin will go find the skewer for us. I think I'm just going to take the five. I don't really want to trade Sprayfin for the 2 2. I definitely don't want to chump block that thing. Murder. I have two cards left. Let's kill this 5 3. And reset Hearth Guard so we can play it again. <laughs> I'm really liking. I know like we're Bone Skewer Elnux. But I'm really liking um, Bone Skewer Hearthguard. Okay, so Quick Attack Scout. That 3 1. Yeah, 4 4 Twist of Fate. Let's go. Deal me in. So I'm going red card here because that turns on plunder for me. So now these monster harpoons cost three. So now I also have a monster harpoon I can play. We know they have a spell that costs three or less because of the spray fin. So I think that's the middle card here is that spell. I'll shoot the wings off a Someone deserves your bullet, girl. Stand and defend. All right, time to stand and defend. We know we again know that that metal card's the spell. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Stack in the odds. Okay, they haven't played very many spells yet, have they? Yeah, one. Alright, so they'll be able to play their spell and, and save their fizz, but... Oh, or not. Or not. But I was going to say, even if they do that, then next round, like, they'd have to have another spell for their fizz anyway. Alright, we're about to have triple hearth guard. That's a lot of powder monkeys. That's a lot of powder monkeys. We fight for one so that deals five damage to me and puts me down to three. Uh oh. I was expecting all this direct damage. Alright, so we're down to three. Oh wait, that's still gonna die. Are there any of these? Let's see. Oh, let's protect. Uh oh. Yeah, we we really might die if they have another one of these these powder pandemoniums. We're gonna have to like not play anything and just keep nine mana for buried and ice available. Oh, 
I don't like this. Are you kidding me? We're just gonna get parlayed? Oh man, this is so close. Warning shot? Wow. We just took eight direct damage. I didn't think that we could lose that. I mean, I I needed to block a little bit earlier. You know, I I could have I pro I could have saved like a couple of life earlier with a block. Ooh, Shivana Renekton. Those are two four mana champions that attack for a lot. We draw this bull Elnuk too much. We want troop, no bull. Troop. Alright, pick a card, can reset uh, that bull L nut, put it back. I don't know, I really want to just pass there and they waste their three mana. We'll see if they play something after combat. Okay, so we got we got rewarded for attacking. Well, that's a spot where you can not get rewarded for attacking. You can get the opposite. Violence, chaos, and destruction. Of rewarded for attacking. Deal me in. Hold it, partner. Well, let's keep the thing from attacking for a little bit. Be good. To the field. Unfortunately, this thing is the thing they would get gold carded the cavalry, not the Renekton. So your opinion on the each turn each player gets to draw a card instead of the tip well you draw a card on your turn I, th I think I, I like it I like it I like that it's that it's not just um, each play each different player has a turn that it's um, instead of the, the turns are shared I think it gets a lot more back and forth and a lot more interesting gameplay that um, you know that that's happening I, I like it quite a bit. I like that both players interact. Wow, we we just drew that bull elk nut that we put back into the deck because <laughs> you know like our other things get you know had like the plus three plus three attached. I was hoping to find more of those things with plus three plus three attached. So yeah, we'll just get rid of this bull elk nut. The dragon's rage claws to get out. Today we fight as one. Kind of planning on Barry to nice next round. Glorious battle. I 
that will level up Renekton. Alright, well, we don't want that to happen. So... I don't really want to Bone Skewer either of these, though. I kind of want those traits to happen. But I guess if we Bone Skewer, like, the Hearth Guard... Yeah, you know, we can reset Hearth Guard also. Um, yeah, I guess I could just simply Troll Chant, couldn't I? Yeah, actually, that's not so bad. What if we just do that? And then their Renekton doesn't level up right now. Now we'll reset this hearth guard. Got another combat trick out of their hands. That worked out pretty well. Alright, they are buried in ice. There we go, buried in ice. How about that? Because they probably have just like a bunch of spells to help those champions. Um, and then next round, you know, I was going to have my nine mana, so I was going to be able to play my hearth guard, and then they play a blocker, and then I go twisted fate gold card it. All right, then Aurelia Azir. So finally, we do play against the tier one deck, the tier one aggro deck. Hearth card's been so good to me, but it's also really a zero. It's hard to keep the five mana card. Oh, but it's been so good. All right, but let's let's be realistic. Let's mulligan the five mana card. That takes a lot. That <laughs> that takes a lot of uh, restraint right there to mulligan the hearth card because it's like my favorite card in the deck and it's been doing so good for us. Twist of Fate red card could do some work. Every blade, every beat in its place. Um. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. All right, so I could kill either Aurelia or Sparring Student. I could kill either one. I guess it's Aurelia. You know, we take a ton of damage, because the next round I go red card, which threatens killing the student. So how much damage am I taking right here? If I kill Aurelia. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's only going to be four. It's just going to be a four, four. Okay. Not too bad. Yeah, this isn't too bad at all, actually. Because then I can, I can actually just block the Sparring Student and then Bone Skewer. I didn't have to Bone Skewer right then. Since we're doing the Aurelia. Alright, Bone Skewer doing its job. That worked out well. Red card. Hmm. Doesn't always work. I'm a people person.
Hopefully no Azir. If there's no Azir, we're... You need not follow, but you will Never mind. Witness. I was going to say if there's no Azir, we're going to be doing just fine, but... Never mind. Alright, let's get the bowl. Your Emperor command, I have risen. And with me, Sharima. This was, uh, it was looking great <laughs> until this round. The Zier, then a lead and follow. It was looking great before this round. So I am going to have the Twisted Fate die so that I can play new Twisted Fate red card again this next round. Easy. I got three cards left. I'm hoping to kill the Sparring Student in these Dancing Droplets. One mana off from this monster harpoon. I could have just played the monster harpoon on the Azir just to begin with, but it's just if they have a spell that saves the Azir, which, oh my gosh. They certainly had spells that save stuff, that's for sure. Who says I don't share? So that's all three lead and follows. One more mana. I'm a good monster harpoon kill this Azir. That then then we're talking about the order is given. Yeah, maybe being able to hang. Yeah, we need to save them. Oh, play Play Twisted Fate a tune was the. That would have been. A t yeah, that would not have worked for so many reasons. One, our plunder wouldn't have been turned on for part for the Monster Harpoon, so that wouldn't have worked. But then two, they had all those one health things. Like, you got a red card. My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. Do not see what is, see what will be. Yeah, way to go. You're great. <laughs> Good job, opponent. Deck was stacked against us. Good deck for normal. Okay, so there we go. There was a Bone, Skewer, Elnux. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do like the combo in any of those games of like, you know, put put an Elnux back and then play Troop because we just didn't draw Troops. <laughs> you know, like we hardly ever drew Troop of Elnux. I think maybe only like one game did we draw this card. Um, you know, like we, we had Bull Elnux like basically every single game, but we just didn't have Troops. And, you know, that's the combo part is you got to have Troop to be able to pull it off. It doesn't... It doesn't matter if you put Bull Elnuk back on top if you don't have a troop of Elnuks to get it back out. Um, the Baradine Ice looked really cool though. Like that was a that was a um, a cool card that I wish that we had two of in the first game. And of course, after that first game, then we put the second one in the deck. I really liked that. But besides that, the MVP of this was Hearthguard. Play Hearthguard. Hearthguard back Bone Skew you know with Bone Skewer replay Hearthguard like that kind of stuff. That was really really cool. And just having being the five fives and all that kind of stuff. So there we go. Good meme tier deck, good meme tier idea with Bone Skewer and Elnux. All right, everybody, watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments of other meme tier ideas for next week. 
or hopefully you're having fun with the double meme tier day um, with the eight meme tier videos this week. This is number five out of the eight. We got three more to go. Um, Zillion with Poros, Overwhelm Aggro. That one's uh, got a special stipulation where every single unit has to have Overwhelm or show up with show up uh, when you type Overwhelm in the search bar. And then a Star Spring Regen deck with Brahmin Trundle later on. But that's going to be it here for Bone Skewer Elnox. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.